All right, this is a quick walkthrough of the Easter set and how it will uh, kind of flow musically and between songs and then the road map and the dynamics of the song, uh, just so that you can have this for reference uh, as you practice. So the first song is going to be My Savior Lives um, in the key of B. We're going to run through that song pretty much like that recording of uh, New Life Worship that I tagged in Planning Center. Um, so that will be the intro, verse 1. Chorus, uh, instrumental, verse 2, chorus, instrumental, um, uh, into a soft instrumental, which is the bridge. Uh, and then when we come in, we'll do that bridge softly, vocally. Then we'll do it uh, kind of building with the band. We'll do it a third time, building even more, kind of like giving that real, real intense feel. Uh, not quite full, but still like a real strong build feel to it and then go right into um, the drum chorus, uh, where the drums will be going at it. We'll repeat that chorus um, full then, and then do an outro to it. We're gonna flow right from that song into Scandal of Grace, uh, and it'll sound kinda like this. Just to know you. We want to emphasize each one of those hits. So right on that B, O to B, like you, um, to give all I have just to know you. We want to make those really strong and loud and powerful. So hitting power chords on the electrics um, and crash cymbals, uh, whatnot, we'll all emphasize those beats. Um, so that will be the first um, chorus um, in Scandal of Grace. And then we'll go right from that into an instrumental real quick, which will just be hanging on the B, on the one chord. And then I like to make that first verse kind of like intense um, quarter notes, like on the kick drum and maybe like chugging it. Um, so it'll kind of sound, sound a little bit, uh, uh, the, the, the instrument will be full. Into the verse. like that into the pre-chorus into the chorus uh, into a quick turnaround which will be just hanging on the beat uh, and then into verse 2 pre-chorus chorus then we'll do the instrumental that's written there um, for the uh, right before the bridge uh, I think it's B six four one four six four and then it's all because of you, Jesus, we're going to drop that. Uh, we'll do that bridge soft, and then we'll do a bridge after that. That'll be kind of building, and we'll build into a chorus right there. We'll do that chorus full, and then uh, we'll end the song on a soft chorus. Um, one or two, it's not really in stone yet. Um, it'll depend on how it goes. So just be watching and um, listening to me. I'll vocally lead these first two songs for us. Um, and that's how that first half will set. Then there will be the welcome, announcements, etc. Then we're going to do How He Loves. Um, this one, uh, listen to the Passion 2015 version of it. Crowder does uh, a version and he keeps it. Um, I, I kind of want to emulate it a little bit in doing the first um Verse 1, chorus, verse 1, chorus, um, soft and pretty low-key, uh, probably pre predominantly uh, acoustic and like pad. Um, I love the piano, like to kind of trickle in some stuff and, and maybe uh, one of the guitars doing a, a loop of something. You know, like... I don't know, something something along that lines. Uh, something kind of soft though, but but adding to it, of course. Uh, so it'll go uh, verse 1, chorus, verse 1, chorus, um, and then right out of that, um, we will do verse 2, and I want that to be kind of like an intense building moment. Um, so the like we practiced it on Monday night, the drums will be building it up really um, with a steady uh, beat, um, but not like a rock beat, but you know, like a build beat. 
um, and then we'll all uh, be uh, adding to that as well. We'll build into a chorus, um, so we'll do a full chorus, then we'll go into an instrumental, um, which will be full dynamically, and then drop it down for a chorus. Um, Hannah's going to be leading this song, so she's going to do a soft chorus. She's going to go to verse 1 and do part of verse 1, uh, the first half, and then she may go back into the chorus again uh, to end it. So we'll just be watching her for her cues um, and how she wants to lead that. So then the song will end, um, and we'll verbally transition that, but Nathan on the piano and keys will transfer um, transpose us into or, or get us into the key of G uh, so we're in C then we're going to go into G so we'll be an easy change um, it can be a, a soft change like not a very harsh change try to make it flow really easy and then once he gets there um, just go don't even start the uh, the piano part of that intro but just do go through it like pad wise doing that intro real soft uh, the progression for verse 1 uh, forever and then forever um, he'll come in with the intro we'll do that little intro do verse 1 the instrumental then go over to verse uh, 2 pre-chorus build into a chorus uh, we're going to change this up from how we did it last time so pre-chorus chorus then go into a full instrumental uh, which is the chorus chords so do that instrumental and then uh, do then a uh, pre-chorus again like the kind of building one build back into a chorus do that chorus full uh, and then we're going to cut right there to the bridge um, there's going to be some vocal stuff going on verbal stuff uh, probably the choir is going to go right into singing the bridge but really soft um, so musically just keep it Keep it down soft, um, predominantly pad, um, and maybe hitting the chords um, for each change, but just keeping it real soft. Um, we won't officially begin continuing in the song until Caitlin comes in. Um, she'll invite the congregation, like, hey, sing with us, and she'll sing through. We sing hallelujah, we sing hallelujah, uh, the Lamb is overcome. She'll sing that twice, then let's start building. Uh, that's different than how we practice it. We practice it as soon as Caitlin comes in. We start building. That's going to change. Uh, so Sunday morning, be prepared to do it this way. She'll come in vocally, lead us through it twice. Then we'll start building. Uh, and we'll build with her for a couple of bridges. And then build into the chorus. Uh, and then we may or may not do a second chorus at the end. Um, but how we'll end it is... Uh, let's see. It's just going to be... Oh, I should do that in the right key. It's going to be in the key of G. He is risen. He is alive. He is alive. So just kind of, uh, we'll slow it down and be watching each other in the drums and then we'll resolve it on the one chord. Uh, so that's a, a basic run through the set. Um, if you have questions, just shoot me a text or an email.